The solar powerhouse is a revolutionary approach to providing electrical power in remote, off-the-grid locations without the need for extensive infrastructure. This self-contained system uses highly automated methods for deploying or stowing the solar array, for providing steady and reliable power, and for managing the distribution of electricity. The solar powerhouse is sold by Solar Genesis Incorporated, a U.S.-based benefit corporation dedicated to the production of a self-deployable solar-powered electrical apparatus. The solar powerhouse was conceived and developed by Walter Cowham, who invented several of the key innovations that set the solar powerhouse apart from many competing solar-generated electrical power systems. Among those innovations are a deployment system that allows the solar powerhouse to be set up without the use of additional machinery, an automated tracking system that maximizes the efficiency of the solar array, and an automated system for maintaining the batteries and other key components between deployments. I'm Walter Cowan, co-founder of Solar Genesis and the inventor of the solar powerhouse. Um, the solar powerhouse is a rapidly deployable solar power generation system. We developed the solar powerhouse uh, because we believe that as with a cell phone, um, uh, as with a cell phone, uh, doing away with landlines, uh, we believe that uh, the generation of uh, electrical power will in the future be done at the point of use. Therefore, uh, the greatest resource that we have on the planet is actually uh, uh, solar resources. Uh, in fact, in most areas of the world where electrical power is not available due to uh, e excessive uh, uh, infrastructure costs, that would be uh, 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 incurred in building this, uh, you know, transmission uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, there is abundant uh, solar power. All of the equipment for the solar powerhouse fits inside a standard 20-foot open-top shipping container, which means that it can be easily transported by ship, rail, or truck in all of the areas of the world where there's a demand for an off-the-grid electrical power system. And the container uh, logistical system, worldwide container logistical system, is so widespread and so developed, it's allowed globalization to flourish to an, an extent unimaginable uh, only a couple of decades ago. So with those two factors alone, we figured that the, it was, uh, you know, the, the time was right for Solar Genesis to develop a product that uh, uh, responded to what the customers' needs were uh, in the actual field. And having lived in Africa and experienced uh, the challenges of living in a place where uh, electrical power is uh, not readily available, but the hunger for it is uh, so great, I, I took on the, uh, you know, the, the, the endeavor of uh, developing a system that would achieve that through uh, a open top shipping container. So at that point, give us the two things that two or three things that are unique about what you've done and why it makes yours a superior alternative. What makes this the solar powerhouse a giant leap for rapidly deployable solar power is first of all, um, you cannot have solar power without solar tracking because the sun is forever moving. So our competitors up until this point have attempted to deliver solar power in containers, but it's fixed. Uh, that fixed nature is even worse in the tropics because the solar, the sun not only moves east to west daily, but also north to south twice a year. And so you're gonna have, you, you, this, is a, you know, this is a power source that's constantly moving. It's never in one place. Uh, so that's why the first thing we had to do was resolve the tracking issue. How do we track a huge array like that? So, and then the other issue is how do you offload um, a, an assembly of uh, equipment that is made up of batteries, inverters, generators, uh, the shipping container itself? Uh, the, the, uh, how do you get it off a truck? Trucks are abundant in the developing world. The cranes are abundant at every port to load the container, but once you get to the final destination, how do you get that container off to finally deliver your product? Well, we developed uh, the lifting capability, which allows 
uh, which allows us to not only use the same hydraulics for loading and unloading of the container, but those hydraulics can be reconfigured to also perform tracking uh, for the sun, another very critical component. There are other features about this system that makes it uh, superior in that uh, the, the system is always, uh, is always functioning. There's never a time that the batteries aren't maintained. In other words, you could take the solar powerhouse, put it in an open field, close it all up, and five years from now you could open it up and everything will still be working. The systems you get today, they have to be assembled on site. So those batteries, without being recharged, would die. And within a year, you'd go back there and uh, you wouldn't, all your batteries would be dead and they would be no good. So the designs we've incorporated into the solar powerhouse are actually real world designs, uh, uh, real, solving real world problems that I have grown up experiencing and had to, had to incorporate them into that so that we could actually uh, attack uh, our, you know, attack the problem of uh, 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 insufficient power supply uh, with the tool that was actually powerful enough and that could actually do the job and would not disappoint our customers. In addition to the solar panels, three key subsystems of the solar powerhouse allowing more flexible and efficient operations than competing solar power generation systems are the batteries, which allow storage of excess energy, a diesel generator to provide both supplemental and backup power, and the power converters, which charge the batteries and matches the power output to the specific needs of the user. Okay, so what you have here are the two inverters. This is the heart of the system. Uh, this is what would take if we have a generator in the back and the generator generates AC power, these inverters would actually take that uh, power, charge the batteries. If you have 5,000, a 5,000 watt generator, uh, these inverters would convert all that 5,000 watts into electrical power, stored electrical power, as opposed to say using the 5,000 watts and using 500 watts and losing 4,500 watts because you don't have the load on it. So these things would actually make any generator more efficient. But in addition to that, they take the power from the batteries and convert it back into your regular AC power like a generator would produce uh, on command when you want it. So uh, you could run a generator for two hours during the day, for two, two hours during the day, then in the middle of the night when you want your neighborhood to be quiet, you can still go and turn on the lights because that power is stored in the batteries. And that whole system happens automatically. And not only that, these inverters as well would allow you, if you have a, uh, a uh, grid connection anywhere nearby, you can actually connect these inverters to the grid and any excess power from the solar panels would actually be transferred to the grid once the batteries were satisfied. Um, Basically, this technology uh, allows for uh, uh, a hybrid system to be very efficient when it comes to fuel consumption for generators, um, and as well that, in addition to uh, uh, the efficiencies uh, brought on by uh, the use of solar panels, you can actually have a power generation system that operates on very little fuel. Uh, and uh, is uh, very reliable in that it would have several sources of electrical power. We have, so, we have several um, IPs related to uh, the technology we developed in order to uh, perform the tasks that uh, we have I've just uh, mentioned uh, of tracking and uh, of loading and unloading of the container and uh, battery maintenance uh, during idle times. Um, we've had to, uh, uh, you know, uh, we've, we've have those protected, uh, not only under U.S. patents, but we're in the process of uh, also protecting them internationally in critical markets. Um, Solar Genesis is a benefit corporation. Um, we believe, or I believe personally, that um, the best way to uh, uh, allow 
the developing world to develop is to engage them economically. Uh, I do not believe in uh, 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 simply giving aid, uh, it is simply giving aid uh, because that uh, once the aid is gone, uh, the people you've assisted uh, now do not have anything to fall back on. Uh, as somebody that grew up in Africa and has, uh, you know, a, a, a feel, has a special place for Africa, I, uh, I felt that uh, if I was going to go into business with uh, dealing in such a product, that I would want to uh, engage that market. And how would I engage that market? We would have a secondary market where products that uh, have performed tasks for major world organizations, uh, uh, maybe related to the UN or other development agencies related to, you know, country states, uh, once those, uh, uh, you know, markets had uh, utilized one of our products, they could be able to, um, we could be able to buy back that product after so many years, give them a new one. That used product we would refurbish and send on to, uh, uh, to uh, invigorate economic activity in areas with abundant sunshine and uh, uh, without the, uh, the availability of electrical power. And we believe we can actually deliver electrical power in an affordable manner because there's no infrastructure to build. We don't have to run uh, high voltage power lines, pylons for hundreds of miles from a source of generation. We can, we can set one of these up in a market in a small town or several of them around town to, to perform several tasks from you know, just, uh, m you know, merchandising uh, 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 as a shop or, you know, just selling electricity. So that is the dream. We believe that we can solve with, uh, with distributed generation, we could actually uh, solve some of the problems that do not enable us right now to serve uh, millions of people that are eager to have electrical power. Uh, what we need from a partner to take it to the next step is actually uh, funding to allow uh, the next generation, which would be the uh, prototype that would actually be what we put on a production line, to be uh, built. We built the first generation that allowed us to uh, learn a lot and prove a lot of our theories. We need the next generation, maybe even uh, have a specialty uh, uh, a system that may be caters for military use because the military is going to have a uh, mill spec. Uh, we might want to have a prototype that is going to cater for aid organizations, maybe World Health Organization and so on. Uh, so those are things we have to look into. Um, I would need in a partner somebody that would be willing to um, fund these operations to uh, allow us to bring this product to the market. To find out more about the Solar Genesis Company, please visit SolarGenesis.com. That's S-O-L-A-R-G-E-N-E-S-Y-S dot -E -S -S com. You can also contact Walter directly at Walter at SolarGenesis.com.